PPC Instrument Construction Activities Step by Step The construction activities for instrumentation in an engineering, procurement and construction EPC project involve various steps to ensure the proper installation and integration of instrumentation systems. Below is a general outline of the typical steps involved. 1. Preparation and Planning Review engineering drawings specifications and project documentation related to instrumentation. Develop detailed construction plans and schedules for instrumentation activities. 2. Procurement Procure necessary materials, equipment and services for the construction project. Obtain quotes from suppliers, negotiate contracts and make purchases as needed. 3. Site Preparation Mobilize construction crew, equipment and resources to the site. Establish temporary facilities such as construction offices and storage areas. Prepare the work area by clearing obstacles and ensuring access for construction activities. 4. Installation of instrumentation equipment. Install instrument supports, brackets, and mounting hardware according to engineering drawings and specifications. Mount and secure instruments, control valves, transmitters, analyzers, and other instrumentation devices in their designated locations. Install junction boxes, cable trays, conduits, and wiring systems for instrument connections. 5. Instrument Tubing Installation Install tubing systems for process connections, impulse lines, and instrument air lines. Bend, cut, and thread tubing as per design requirements. Ensure proper routing, support, and labeling of tubing lines. 6. Wiring and cabling. Pull and install instrument cables, control cables, and power cables as per cable schedules and wiring diagrams. Terminate cables and wires at instruments, junction boxes, marshalling cabinets and control panels. Perform continuity checks and insulation resistance tests to ensure proper electrical connections. 7. Calibration and loop checking Calibrate instrumentation devices, including sensors, transmitters and controllers using calibrated equipment and reference standards. Perform loop checks to verify the communication and functionality of instrument loops. Troubleshoot and resolve any issues identified during calibration and loop checking. 8. Integration and Commissioning Integrate instrumentation systems with control systems, distributed control systems, DCS or programmable logic controllers, PLC. Conduct system testing to ensure proper communication, data exchange, and control functions between instrumentation and control systems. Perform functional tests, simulation tests, and performance tests to validate system operation. Conduct final checks and tests to verify the EPC instrument is functioning correctly and meeting the required specifications. Make any necessary adjustments or repairs as needed. 9. Documentation Prepare as-built drawings, test records, calibration certificates, and documentation packages for instrumentation systems. Compile operation and maintenance manuals, spare parts lists, and training materials for system users. Conduct training sessions for operators, maintenance personnel, and end-users. 10. Handover Complete formal handover of instrumentation systems to the client or owner for commissioning and operation. Handover the completed EPC instrument construction project to the client or end-user, ensuring they are satisfied with the work and have all necessary documentation and support for ongoing use and maintenance. Throughout each step, it's essential to adhere to safety procedures, quality standards, and project specifications to ensure the successful completion of instrumentation construction activities in an EPC project. Additionally, 
effective communication and coordination among project stakeholders, including engineers, contractors, suppliers, and clients, are critical for the smooth execution of construction activities. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, share, comment. IIQA